Tumblr. Here is the list of some tumblers. Let's go through them one by one. Collins. It can hold 10 to 14 ounces volume, around 6 inches in height. They are used to serve a mixed drink, named after Tom Collins. It's cylindrical and narrower than highball glass. Highball. It can hold 8 to 12 ounces volume, around 6.5 inches in height. This glass is taller than an old-fashioned glass and shorter than a Collins glass. It is used to serve a mixed drink or highball. Shot glass. It can hold 2 to 3 ounces volume, around 3.5 to 4.5 inches in height, which is either drunk straight from the glass. Modern shot glass holds a thicker base and sides than whiskey glass. Old-fashioned. It can hold 6 to 16 ounces volume, around 4 inches in height. They are also called lowball glass or rock glass. It is a shorter tumbler used for serving an alcoholic beverage. For example, whiskey on the rock with ice. Pilsner. It can hold 12 ounces volume, around 7 inches in height. Usually, they are tall, slender, and tapered in shape. The slender glass will reveal the color and carbonation of the beer, and the broad top will help maintain a beer head. Beer mug. It can hold 16 ounces volume, around 5 inches in height. They are heavy, sturdy, and large with a handle. Easy to drink out and holds plenty of volume. Here's a glass of premium champagne. Would you pour that champagne into a rocks glass? Of course not because the glass you use affects the way a guest experiences the flavors of their beverage. So it's important to know which glassware to use and when. In this lesson, we'll cover the two main categories of glassware. Stemware and stemless glassware. Let's start with stemware. Stemware includes any glass with a narrow stem at its base. The stem allows the glass to be held without warming the liquid inside. There are seven glasses in this category. They are the cordial glass. This small, elegant glass is mainly used to serve after-dinner liqueur. The sherry glass. Small and V-shaped. This glass is used for serving aromatic alcoholic beverages, such as sherry, aperitifs, and liqueurs. The champagne glass. This is also known as a flute glass. The shape of this glass retains the champagne's signature bubbles. It also gives these bubbles further to travel, heightening the drink's visual appeal. The snifter. This glass is also known as a brandy snifter. The large round bowl allows the guest to hold the glass in a way that warms the brandy inside. The narrow brim of the glass traps the aroma of the liquor. The martini glass. While it's best known for martinis, Many different cocktails can actually be served in this triangular glass, including Gimlet's and Manhattan's. The wine glass. The size of the wine glass used depends on the type of wine ordered. Smaller glasses are generally used for white and blush wines. Larger wine glasses are usually preferred for red wine to allow the wine to breathe. Some hotels serve all wines in the same rounded glass. Find out from your manager if this is applicable at your hotel. The Cocktail Coupe This glass has a wide, broad bowl and is used to serve classic cocktails like the sidecar or any type of daiquiri. Let's move on to stemless glassware. The Shot Glass This glass is typically used to serve small amounts of alcohol, or shots, also known as shooters. The Highball Glass This glass is used to serve highball cocktails which are cocktails containing one or two shots of hard spirits topped up with a non-alcoholic mixer, such as cranberry juice or soda. An example of a highball glass is the rocks glass, which can be used to serve drinks on the rocks, that is, drinks that are served over ice, such as a whiskey sour. The Collins glass. Tall and slim, this glass is traditionally used to serve the Tom Collins cocktail and its variations. The pint glass. A pint glass is commonly used to serve draft beer. The copper mug. These mugs are generally lined with stainless steel, aluminum, 
or are all copper and have to be hand washed. Check with your manager to see which type you have in your bar. You now know about the different glasses that can be categorized as stemware and stemless glassware. Remember, a glass can alter the flavor or aroma of a drink. It's also an important part of presentation. If you know which glass to use for a Manhattan and which to use for wine, you'll be more confident when serving these drinks to guests. Continue to the next lesson where we show you how to take care of glassware.